Well, California is taking a hard stance against Walgreens. Governor Gavin Newsom announcing that the state will not renew its $54 million contract with the pharmacy store chain. That's after the company decided not to dispense an abortion drug in states where Republican officials are threatening legal action. Yahoo Finance senior reporter Anjali Kemlani joins us with more on this story. So, Anjali, what is California? What, why is California taking this stance? Well, Rochelle, California took this stance, and what it does is actually end a contract that was set to expire on May 1st, in which Walgreens dispenses uh, prescriptions to inmates in California. And so that's what Governor Newsom has ended. He has also threatened to find other areas where the 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 company and the state interact and see what can be done there. Now, what's at stake here is really the future of the abortion pill dispensing across the country, especially after the FDA opened up the ability for mail order back in January. And so what's happening right now is a direct result of that. The governor taking the stance after uh, 21 attorneys general sent letters to Walgreens asking them or threatening them with legal action if they dispensed in the state, citing different legal reasons, and Walgreens saying, well, we agree we're not going to, uh, you know, dispense in these states right now. So that's that's sort of, you know, the, the basic play-by-play -play right now of what has happened and what has led to this specific response from California. I mean, sometimes we do see states on the opposing side of what some corporations want to do, but why is the situation escalated to this level? Well, what's happening is actually very complicated and nuanced, very legal and also political. So what these AGs did was cite old, uh, you know, laws like mail or uh, mail laws, federal laws that have to do with ma with the use of mail and specifically for the for the use of anything related to abortion. They said in their letter that they, quote, reject the Biden administration's bizarre interpretation of then allowing the FDA to open things up, which was a result of the FDA relaxing the rules during the pandemic. That's where this first all started. Uh, they've also cited state laws prohibiting. And what has been true is that of the 20 or so states, Abortion is legal in a handful of them, and there are specific laws that are kind of nuanced when it comes to whether or not the pill is legal but can be used during, through mail order, can be delivered through mail order, because many of these states tend to have pretty restrictive rules, uh, including, uh, you know, having to have an ultrasound, for example, before a patient is allowed to use the pill, or having to have some sort of consultation or a physician nearby when using the pill. So it does kind of uh, shift the landscape, if you will, when it comes to what actually can be done, whether or not these pharmacies can play in these markets. Florida, for example, already does not allow pharmacies to dispense uh, the pill. There are other states among those uh, that, that signed on where abortion is legal. Iowa, for example, where, yes, you know, it's available now. Legislation has already been introduced to ban the pill, but that's on hold as the governor wants to ban abortion past six weeks. Weeks. That's the stance that Texas initially held before it fully banned abortion. And six weeks is said to be a pretty restrictive timeline, not allowing for really a lot of room for any action to be taken. So you're seeing it all together. Then. Now, Walgreens response, we know the part where they agreed not to dispense has been widely reported. But what hasn't been focused on is the sentence following. And it's kind of important because it gives them sort of a CYA where they say, if the situation changes, they will notify these agencies. So they really left it open and on the table for, uh, you know, a shift in policy, if you will. And if you can see on your screen, this is part of their letter in response. So all told, it's very complicated, very nuanced. And like I've said before, very much a developing story as we wait for the FDA to decide to certify and how it's going to certify mail order for these pills. Indeed. Very interesting take on some of the language there. As you mentioned, they're leaving the door open, so we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this story. Thank you for that breakdown. Anjali Kemlani there for us.